Hi everybody. So I got one of these radio controlled atomic clocks and this one is put the light on there. This one is made by Lacrosse Technology. So here is the model number. And it's got this little button pad on the back of it and a spot for a double-A battery. And so in order to in order to set the clock on this, uh, I actually had to come outside. I'm out here in the parking lot. Uh, because this thing has to be able to get the radio signal from the atomic clock uh, radio broadcast that's coming out of Colorado. Uh, so right now, uh, it's about 9.30. It's actually probably about 9.40 or closer to quarter to 10 at night. Uh, but this thing is set for 7.37. So, this is basically how you do it. I have a fresh new battery ready to put in, which I'll pop in right now. And then, you can see the second hand here is starting to go a little crazy. So this should, according to the instructions, start setting itself. As long as it's getting the signal from Colorado, which it looks like it might be. Coming up on 9 p.m. This is actually pretty cool. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's not getting a signal because it's continuing to go. And it's going past 10 o'clock now, so. Guess I could let it sit here and keep going, see when it stops. Unless this thing is set for AM, PM, and maybe it's uh, at 23 hours right now. I don't know why that would matter on a 12 hour clock. to show you I'm not pressing any buttons back here oh look at that it stopped at 12 well it actually said in the instructions that it would do that it would run up to 12 o'clock and then stop and then it would wait for the signal so it also said you might have to wait three to five minutes or something like that and see if it gets the radio signal from Colorado I wonder what's going on why this thing isn't getting the signal Outside, it's a relatively clear night. You probably can't see that in the camera tonight, but you can see a little bit of clouds, and you can see the moon quite well, even though there's just a tiny bit of haze there. But this whole side of the sky definitely clear. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe I should try to move to the middle of the parking lot. Maybe there's a little bit of interference from the back of the building. Let's go for a little walk with the clock. Okay, now in the middle of the parking lot, holding this thing way up in the air. On. Oop, it's starting to go. Huh, I guess that was the trick. I guess when it was too close to the building, it was getting interference from the cinder blocks or something. Oh, that's going to take a really long time to get to. I guess it's probably 
9.50 by now. <laughs> you would think if it knows what time it is that it could just move all the hands directly to what it needs to be at, but I guess it has to wind itself around. But I'm afraid it's not gonna be able to keep time very accurately if this is gonna be inside of a cinder block building. Probably have to take this thing outside every once in a while so that it can reset its own time. Now it does actually have buttons on here that you can use to set the time manually, but I don't wanna do that. It's radio controlled for a reason. If I wanted a manually set clock, I would have bought one. I guess I could have waited until 12, 15 in the morning to do this instead. I wouldn't have to wait so long for it to wind itself around. Oh well, only about another minute or so, I would think. Oh my. Almost there. All right, pretty cool. Well, almost 10 minutes to set this clock. Eh, you know, I think a regular clock would have been okay too, but it's when you want something you don't have to set, this is what you gotta deal with, so. Pretty cool. Yeah, and on the back here, we take a look at some of the settings. Uh, there is actually a button for your time zone. So here in Pennsylvania, we're in the Eastern time zone. So the PMCE is for Pacific Mountain Central and Eastern. So I have that set to Eastern. And then we also have DST for daylight savings time on and off. And since we've already moved the clocks forward ahead last weekend, that means daylight savings time is on. Uh, also, I can't really see it there, but I wrote on the battery March 9, 2020. So I know how long this battery, you know, when it comes time to change it, I'll know how long it's been in there for. Uh, some of the other things on here, WWVB is the call sign for the radio station in Colorado that broadcasts the time signal for these atomic clocks. And you also have a couple other buttons here. Uh, looks like one says set, one says reset, and one says wave. Uh, the wave button is what you use if this thing won't get a signal on its own and you want to force it uh, to look for that time signal, you would press that. Uh, the other buttons, uh, the reset and the set, they had uh, listed in the instructions for what they do. I think the set button was for setting the time if you had to do it manually because this can't get a signal. So, anyway, there you have it. Atomic clock that's radio controlled. Takes a little while, but it's pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.